live by the laws of love, which is limitless. And I look around and I think, uh-uh. I don't need to play small with those thoughts anymore. They've ruled my life, my choices far too long. And the lesson of the Camino is really step into the unknown, embrace the magnitude, embrace the wonder, embrace the moment, keep letting go. Buen Camino! After four or five days of walking along the highway, it feels so good to be back in the middle of nowhere. It's an all-inclusive experience being in the open space and then walking those days along the highway. Last night I slept in a top stop hotel and I'm grateful. <laughs> oh, can you see the mountains in the distance? That is Galicia. Look at that. <clears throat> you know, I look back every so often, especially during the sunrise, and it's symbolic to me. I can look back and I see only the light. Today, coming into Cruz de Faro, this epic sort of monument where people bring these rocks from home and just let go of the past, of their sins, so to speak, or just whatever burden has been weighing them down. It's time to let go. And I feel the emotion bubbling up Again, just so much gratitude. <laughs> My prayer today is that <clears throat> I can reach the place within me that touches God. I can reach the place within me that feels at home in that spaciousness and love, in that flow state where I feel unified, connected to myself, to God, to my brothers and sisters, to the landscape, and it all just merges together in this beautiful dance. But I feel like my intention today is really about, let me bless the world. Let me bless the world with this gentleness that I feel and love and compassion. deeper into my journaling that I have these judgments about my choices along this journey I should have slowed down I should have been on my own more what if I made a mistake I've got nothing figured out where am I gonna live what am I gonna do with the rest of my life and I can see how those thoughts are keeping me bound, are keeping me in a box. And again, not trying to rush it, rush the process of forgiveness or the sensation of spaciousness in my mind, but to equally welcome the contraction because it's an energy that's coming up for me to just be with give space. That if I really want to practice love, that the laws of love are 
self-governing my experience and my mind, well then love is expansive and limitless. And that's what I want. today is symbolic in this climb that will last most of the morning. I can resist it. I can be angry at it. Or again, I can just allow it to move through. And remember that today is my new favorite day that I get to meet myself with compassion kindness, curiosity, rather than judgment, doubt, just reminding myself, just allow it, I'm okay. <laughs> okay. I want all the grievances in my mind to be seen so that I can authentically have an authentic experience. Let me have true vision. And even when I say, oh, I haven't figured anything out, I'm reminded, but wait, there's actually nothing to figure out. This is a journey of healing. It's not even about getting to Santiago or Finisterra. It's about freedom from the judgment. This has been an excellent backdrop. Talk about living a happy dream. This is my happy dream. Climbing up these mountains, all for the practice of forgiveness to flush up the subconscious <laughs> stories and patterns and beliefs. This is my backdrop. Hell yeah. Nature for me has always been like a sacred space. And as I look out, I just feel flooded with love. And that little soft voice inside says, darling, I love you. <sighs> How could you ever think you could be wrong or bad or not enough? Look, look, this is all for you. All for you. There are thousands of people today. Thousands. It's unbelievable. Today is my new favorite day.